In this video, I'll show you how to find the median of a triangle. There are several terms and concepts in this question that will be explained along the way. The question reads, determine an equation for the median from vertex C for the triangle with the vertices C, A, and B. The first thing that we will do is plot these points, C, A, and B. We'll start with C. C has the coordinates 5 and 2, 5 and 2. A has the coordinates negative 3 and positive 3. And B has the coordinates 2 and negative 5. And what we'll do next is connect these three points. Perfect. We'll also label them C, which is at 5 and 2. A, which is at negative 3 and 3. And lastly, B. They want us to determine the equation for the median from vertex C for this triangle. So what the median means is a straight line from C that will intersect A and B right in the middle of A and B. Now how do we find the midpoint of A and B? I did do a video on this and the way you find the midpoint of A and B is by using the midpoint formula. And the midpoint formula looks like this. Midpoint is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. Now since we're focusing on A and B, this will be our first and our second point. So let's call this x1, y1, x2, y2. Negative 3 plus 2 over 2. And 3 plus negative 5 over 2 equals, start with the x-coordinate, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 over 2. And over here, 3 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. What that means is that at this x and y coordinate, this point is at its midway. And so if we look at it visually, it sort of makes sense. That point right there would be considered your midpoint. Now the question is asking, determine an equation from the median, which is this midpoint, to the vertex C. Now keep in mind that by cutting this line segment in half, you have two equal portions. So what we have to do next is create a line segment equation that connects M to C. And the way we do that is we use the skeleton for a line equation, which is Y is equal to MX plus B where M signifies the slope and B signifies the y-intercept. We'll start off by trying to find the slope. And the formula for slope, and I do have a video dedicated to this, is M is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I'm going to use M and C exclusively for my y and x values. Since this is my first point closest to the left, I'm going to call this my first, and this will be my second point. That said, the coordinates here will be x1 and y1, and the coordinates here will be x2 and y2. So let's fill that in. 2 minus negative 1. And x2, 5, minus x1, which is negative half, gives us the answer 2 plus 1 is 3 over 5 plus half, two negatives make a positive, is 5 and a half. And that is equal to, in fraction form, as 6 over 11. 
So let's run with that. Let's fill this number in. That represents our m value. Let's fill that in into our growing equation for the line. 6 over 11x plus b. Now to find your b value, which is representative of your y-intercept, you have to use one of the points that is already provided to you. And there are only two points that have been provided, and that's m and c. So you can apply those coordinates to your equation and solve for b. So let's use 5 and 2. 2, 6 over 11 times 5 plus b. 6 over 11 times 5 is equal to 30 over 11. And we're going to solve for b by bringing this term over to this side. And we end up with 2 minus 30 over 11 is equal to your b value. And that is equal to negative 8 over 11, which is approximately equal to, let's get the decimal version of that, negative 0 0.72. And if you look closely at your graph, and I'm, trying, I'm going to try to zoom in here, if you look closely, that looks like negative 0 0.72. But we're not done. We do have to put these numbers together, the m and the b. So y is equal to 6 over 11 x minus 8 over 11. And that equation represents the point between m and c, the equation that represents this blue line. And that is referred to as the bisector of CNM. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.